हेलो एवरी वन होप यू आर लर्डिंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस दी सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लीड कोड वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट थ्री हंड्रेड एंड एटीन इट्स अ मीडियम लेवल प्रॉब्लम बट आई थिंक देर आर सम बाउंड्री केसेज बिकॉज ऑफ विच यू कैन सी द नंबर ऑफ सबमिशन आर सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड एंड द टोटल एक्सेप्टेड वंस आर दिस वन सो द एक्यूरेसी इज वेरी लो Uh, to be very honest, I don't know why, but uh, let's discuss the intuition and the solution, right? Uh, maybe I'm missing something, uh, <laughs> and we did not get a W A. But yeah, the problem name is maximum sum of distinct subarrays with length k. Okay, so or I I I know one of the edge cases. We'll discuss that. Okay, you are given an integer array nums and an integer k. Find the maximum subarray sum of all the subarrays of nums that meet the following conditions. Okay. The length of the subarray is k, okay, and all the elements in the subarray are distinct, right? These are the two conditions. Return the maximum subarray sum of all the subarrays that meet the conditions. If no subarray meets the condition, return zero. Now, what is the subarray? A subarray is a contiguous non-empty sequence of elements within the array, right? And then there are certain examples. Let's jump into the explanation, okay? So, the problem says that. Uh, so I have an array. Let's call it nums. It has elements one, five, four. Two triple nine. Okay, I have k equals to three. The problem says that find all the subarrays with length equals to three. Find all the subarrays. Okay, and then what you do? Your whichever subarray satisfy two conditions. Okay, what are the two conditions? The first condition is length equals to k. And obviously, since we are finding the subarray is equals to, length equals to k, so this condition will already be satisfied. The second one is Each element is distinct. Each element is distinct. Okay. So what this means? Select the subarrays of length equals to k, and whichever subarrays have each element as distinct element. Okay. Then what do you do? Consider those subarrays and find the sum of those subarrays. Now whichever sum is maximum, just return it. Okay. This is what the problem is saying. In case you do not have a subarray like this, return zero in that case. Okay. That's what it's saying. uh let's see let's see what are the things that we need to observe here first thing is k okay so just look at look here 1 5 um, let's auto minimize it okay 1 5 4 2 9 9 9 okay let's see let's look into the first intuition so you want to select k elements right what you will do let's first select k elements in this case 3 okay This is one of the subarrays. Forget about the validity. Okay. Now, if you want to find the sum, suppose you find the sum of this one. So it 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 is ten, right? It is ten. Now, suppose you want to find the sum of the next subarray of length equals to k. That is five plus four plus two. Or I can write whatever sum you had. That is ten. Ten minus this element plus this element, right? Sort of in sliding window thing. That means at every step. You are removing the leftmost element uh, in consideration and adding one extra element, right? This is uh, this is uh, basically the sum of the uh, new subarray that you are getting or the new element that you are getting, right? So it is something like this is my array. Suppose I am at this position. Suppose I have considered these elements. Now I want to shift one element to the right hand side. So I do this. So actually, what I have done, I have removed this element and I have added this element, right? So this is how you can find the sum of all the subarrays of length equals to k. All right, simple sliding window concept. Now, how to check the validity? So the first one is satisfy. How to check this one? That each element is distinct. So in this case, what you can do? What are the options? You can take a set. You can take a map. Why? If you take a set, and if you put all these k elements into a set, then what we can do? Uh, we can check the size of the set. Okay. So if the size of the set equals equals k, then that means all the elements are distinct. Okay, but here comes a tricky case, and I think most of the people have failed there only. Uh, that's what my intuition is. What happens is when you move one step ahead, when you move from this to this, what happens? You remove this element. Okay, you remove this element. But actually, there is a possibility that the element here had multiple occurrences. Maybe that element was present here also, here also, here also. So set doesn't keep account of the number of times a particular element has occurred, right? It doesn't keep account of this. What happens? Like, um, uh, let me tell you. Like, suppose my array is four, four two nine nine. Uh, let's take one example, right? So, um, or, or take it like this. So you consider these three things. 
okay forget about this problem so your set had two elements okay then when you moved here you removed this okay you removed this then what happened your set had just two elements just two and nine right two just a second yeah two and nine however actually you have three elements distinct element four two and nine why it happened because you removed four and actually it did not take into account that okay f one more occurrence of one more occurrence of four was here it i was removing this but actually this was also removed because i was not keeping account of the number of times four has occurred right so set won't work here what about map yes map will work here why because in map i can keep an integer that is what is the value and an integer what is the number of times that has occurred so now what i'll do this is my array right i am here uh, so and when i move here i decrement the uh, frequency of this array uh, this element and i increment the frequency of this element now in case the frequency of this element becomes equals to zero then what i'll do i'll remove that entry from my map and i'll do the similar stuff if my map dot size equals to k then that means it's a valid sub array and you just compare the current sum with the final sum and other stuff right but this is the core logic and we also understood why what are the possible data structures and why we took map instead of set because set doesn't take into account the number of times a particular element has occurred and here we have to take that into account right this is uh, the reason i think most of the folks have got wrong answer so what i've done here as i've explained right as i've explained uh, uh, initially my answer is zero current sum is zero n is the number of elements that i have and i have taken a map okay so the first step is i put k elements right just to make cases simple the code can be shortened but yeah this is what i wrote in my contest okay take the first k elements and put that into the map okay what is the command map dot put nums of i then map dot get or default nums of i zero zero again it's a java specific thing but what it says is in case you have an element current element x then increment its frequency or else put x comma one how do you do that you do that by map dot put okay i am putting this value which value do i want to put map dot get or default that means if up if this value is already present in the map return me that value or else re by default return me zero and i'll increment plus one and put it into your into the map right and update your current sum current sum plus equals to the current element right now here what i do if my map dot size equals to k answer equals to current dot sum i initialize my answer because i have considered the first k element right so nothing has been removed so that set related problem will not come here right now comes the core logic left equals to zero why because i have picked elements from zero to k minus one so if i pick elements from one to k that means i i add the kth element so i'll have to remove the zeroth element so this left is basically which element you want to remove so i equals to k i less than n right this is the number of iterations that i'll be doing current sum minus remove the sum of the leftmost element add the sum of the current element right now what do you do you update your map how do you update your map you decrement the frequency of the element that you have removed right if you do that then what will happen just see map dot get if the frequency of the removed element becomes equals to zero remove it from the map itself right and update the frequency of the element that you have just added just see this command and this command is exactly same sorry this statement increment your left that means now your left comes out to be one right because in next iteration i'll be moving the next element right and you check if your map dot size equals equals k update your answer okay and finally return your answer so yeah this is uh this is the simple stuff that was required in this problem but um, uh, a lot of folks have got wa yeah so i can understand i think one more thing why folks have got wa is the return type here is long okay that means obviously the sum can overflow why because the number of elements is 10 raised to power 5 the frequency of every element is 10 raised to power 5 so that can in worst case go uh, in a range of 10 raised to power 10 okay that won't fit into an integer data type so that means you need to take care of the variables right why because just see here this is long and this is int so convert it into long right uh, sort of type casting things okay um, but yeah uh, that that is not required at every place but i just wanted to show what are the possibilities of uh, getting a wrong answer so that's what we need to avoid okay so yeah i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up thumbs up do subscribe to the channel that helps me keep motivated creating these type of content also in case of uh, in case of any queries do mention that into the comments i'll, I'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye